Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. Uh, I've been doing this since November of 2019. That is this YouTube gig. And every day for the past two years, I have sat down at this desk and or somewhere else and said, what is it my viewers would like me to share with them today? And if you remember back a year ago, about almost a year ago, I had, or not even a year ago, probably about nine months ago, I introduced you to, to this book. It's um, The Big Nine. And it's Amy Webb's um, interpretation of where the stock market and where technology was going. And she said the, the, the stocks that own all the data and all the artificial intelligence and are going to drive our world are Microsoft, Tencent, Apple, Baidu, Facebook, Amazon, Google, and App, uh, IBM and Alibaba. And I basically have said since then that I don't want to invest in the Chinese stocks because I don't know what China is going to do from one day to the next. And I don't know who IBM is. So I replaced IBM with Tesla. And those were the, my, what I called the big six. And I basically said, that's what I'm going to invest in. And then we had the subprime crisis and I got into some swing trading and, and all in all, my investment philosophy has changed over the past two years. And I have recognized I can't compete with um, JP Morgan and, and Goldman Sachs. They move the market at will. I mean, today it's, it's down, I'm down $10,000. Yesterday I was up $15,000. And, and it's, it's all red today. Yesterday it was all green. They're just making money. They're taking money out of one pocket and putting it in the other. So I don't want to compete with them. So I've also recognized they play the short game. The reason my 3D stocks are down is their earnings reports last night didn't match what J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs wanted to see, so they're pushing the price down. But I then ask myself, is that really reflective of what's going to happen in the future? And, and I don't believe it is. So I have adapted over the last two years, and, and more recently, that I'm going to play the lottery. I'm going to play the lottery. Heck, the Powerball this week is at $160 million. That's my potential payout on a $2 ticket. Well, that's damn stupid. Uh, $2 to make $160 million, and the odds are just crazy. But in the stock market, I can play the lottery, an educated lottery, and I probably won't make $160 million, but I could very possibly make $1.6 or maybe even sixteen. And that's the philosophy I want to continue to share with you. And that's what I want to talk about today, reacting to what's happening just today in the stock market and how I absorb it and then react to it. And that's what this video is about how I'm going to play the lottery and beat Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan at their game. I'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. In order to play this lottery, I had to raise some money. So I sold Tesla and I sold NEO and some other Chinese stocks. And I, that had a lot to do with my uncomfortable feeling about China. And it raised about $200,000. And so I've been then plagued with the question, where do you spend that money? Where do you invest that money? And I ask myself, where do I think the biggest return is? And I, and I basically break it down into four areas. Uh, 3D printing, because I believe manufacturing is going to come back to the United States. Genome sequencing and genome editing, because I believe the biggest change in our world in the next 10 years is going to be uh, moving from medical care to medical cure. Um, the EV market, but not in the car part of it, because I believe that we're at 2% 
uh, EV cars in, in, in the United States today, and that's going between now and 2030, probably to close to 50%, and that's a huge gain. And then the metaverse, which has just, just peaked up, perked my interest in the, in the last couple of days. So let me take you through an analogy and, and deal it with just today. I own several 3D printing stocks. DDD is one of them. It's actually down 15% today in reaction to its earnings report that were made out, that were created last night. And Desktop Metals, which is down 5% today um, because of its reports of last night. So think about this. Do I believe if I injure my shoulder or injure my knee in the next three years, that they're going to take a piece of titanium or a piece of stainless steel and put it onto a lathe and grind it down and make a knee replacement for me as they have done for years? Or do I believe that will be done by a x-ray of my knee as it's currently built and then 3D printed in a polymer, which is lighter and stronger, and insert it in my leg. Well, I believe that's going to happen. Do I believe that if I need dentures, my dentist, he already has the 3D printer, will print them there? And do I believe if I need a crown, he will print it in his office with a 3D? Yeah, I do. So even though my DDD is down 15% today, that's a buying opportunity. And it's a lottery ticket that I'm betting that 3D printing as a result of supply chains being broken are going, is going to surge. And so do I believe DDD, which is selling at $28, has a better potential of doing a 10X than Tesla selling at $1,125 today? Yeah, I do. Do I believe that DM, Desktop Metals, who is in the business of 3D printing uh, mass marketing parts, mostly in the aviation and the uh, automobile industry, do I believe at $8.67, down 5% today, has a greater potential to 10X as the manufacturing is bought back to the United States than NEO, has a potential, which is selling at $42 a share, to go to $420. Yes, I believe that DM is a better lottery ticket. Okay? And so that's how I invest. I then look at genome sequencing. And I have Illumina, which I'm up uh, 29% on, but it does sell for $399 a share. And I have Pacific... Um, uh, Pacific Biosciences, which is the second largest th uh, genome sequencing business or company in the United States, and I'm up 70% in that at $29 a year. Do I believe that once the genome editing business actually takes off and you can put a needle in my arm and take away my propensity for cancer or Alzheimer's or heart disease? Do I believe that anybody who over the age of 40 will run to their doctor and say, I need to be genome sequenced to find out what's going on in my body so I can have genome editing to remove that which is going to kill me? Do I believe that that will happen? Yes, I do. Do I believe that Illumina has a better chance of 10Xing at, three, uh, at $399 than Tesla does at $1,125? Yes, I do, even at $399. And they're the largest, they own 90% of the genome sequencing business. So it, it's kind of like if you want to live, an extra 10, 15 years, you need to have this done. So are you going to have it done? Will your insurance company most likely pay for it? Yeah. So one of these two companies, if not both of them, are a lottery ticket that's going to 10x. Okay? 
Do I believe Tesla and Neo will? No, I don't. Because I know they are, yes, the leaders today in electric vehicles, much as Ford was in 1913 when they started rolling the Model T's off, or the Model A's, I guess it was the T's, in, in uh, 1913. And then in 1920, there were 1,900 competitors of automobiles just in the United States. So do I believe that Tesla and NEO were wonderful investments? I made 600% on Tesla. I made 50% on NEO, but they're yesterday's news. They're going to have competition. And Mercedes and, 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 and um, Tes no, no, Mercedes and uh, BMW, and Lexus are gonna be right down their throat. So there will be competition. When there's competition, where does it show up? At price. So margins go away. Do I believe that there will be someone who will come and replace Illumina? No. Or Pacific Bio? No. They own the market. So. That's my lottery ticket. I just told you yesterday that my EV lottery ticket was Lithium Americas, LAC, which sells for $34 a share. They are going to be the largest producer of lithium in the United States. And it takes lithium to run all the batteries. So do I believe that stock will go to $340 a share from 34 where it is today? Yeah, I do. Do I believe, again, that Tesla will go to, uh, what would it be, $11,500 a share? No, I don't. No, I don't. So that's where I'm playing. Then the, 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 the huge lottery ticket, which I might not li live to see, is the metaverse. And if you, if you understand what the metaverse is, and you say, no, I don't really understand. Just go back to 1989 and someone says, do you know what the World Wide Web is? And you would say, no, I have no clue what it is. Well, it's time you figure it out. And that's what I'll do my video on tomorrow. I'm gonna dig deep into what the metaverse is about. And I'll just name some of the stocks that I think have to be part of it. Uh, Facebook, which I own, Apple, which I own, Microsoft, which I own, uh, Amazon, which I own, Unity, which I own, NVIDIA, which I just bought today at a extremely premium price, but I have to own it. Uh, and I'm going, and I, Fastly, which I own. So the Powerball is selling today for $2 a, a ticket. The payoff is 160 million. The odds of you winning that are slim and thin. But there is another Powerball that you can play, and it's the stock market. Now, is it a guarantee? No, but it's an educated bet. And that's where I think the money can be made in the stock market. That's where I think you can make good investment decisions. And as one of my comments says, Kerry, you can't take it with you. No, I can't. No, I can't, and I probably can't spend it all. But uh, I can make a difference in the lives of those people that follow me. And that's one of my objectives. I don't believe that I was put on this earth just to take up space and just to consume. I believe I was put here to help other people have a better life. I'm certainly going to do that for my children and my grandchildren, and I hope I can do that for you. That's my objective. That's why for two years, every day, I sit down here and say, how can I help my viewers? live a better life? How can I educate them as to the privilege that they have to invest in some of the most dynamic companies in the world and recognize the potential from change and recognize as a result of technology, this change is coming faster and faster and faster. 
and you won't have to wait 10 years. If you'll invest with intelligence, if you'll educate yourself, if you'll read as well as listen, you, you can change your world overnight, overnight. All right. That's my rant for the day. Uh, I hope you found it educational. If you want to become a part of our tribe, you know how to do it. Talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>